What's going on, YouTubers? How's it going? Joe here in the workshop on a Monday, a manic Monday. Well, it's not too manic. Hmm. Smoking one of my Phil Rivara acrylic calabash. This is briar, but the rest of it here is acrylic with some adornment on there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pipe. Smokes great. Check out Philip Rivara. He makes these and has them available from time to time. Great pipe maker. Um, got a couple things. First of all, I, I'll tell you that, wow, did I screw up my schedule. Hmm. I had told the, the wonderful people over at TobaccoPipes.com that I could join them on one of their regular Google Hangouts that they do, which are live broadcasts done by Google and through YouTube and so forth. And uh, I told them I could be on there on the one that's going to be on tomorrow night. Have you ever done things where you... you, you you work off of like dual tracks in your mind or whatever, and maybe this is an age thing. I don't, I don't know, but I, I've done this a lot, you know, since since when I was younger. Uh, you get excited about the the Google Hangout thing, and man, that's going to be great. It's going to be live. We're giving away a pipe and all that kind of thing. At the same time, I had already previously promised my wife that I would accompany her to a uh, film uh, premiere here in Nashville uh, on which she was a producer and uh, an executive uh, of this and uh, it's a it's a faith-based film and it's a one night only showing on you guessed it tomorrow night and uh, I had already committed to that and I also committed, uh, you know, agreed to do the, the Google Hangout thing too. And it was like, uh, well, first of all, I agreed to my wife's first and second of all, it's pretty important for her. And um, the, the movie is, um, is, is going to be premiering all across the country. It's, it's kind of one of those one night only things and it's about the uh, comedian, comedian Shonda Pierce. Uh, she's a faith-based comedian, funny as all get out, but she is, um, she, uh, she does stuff where she talks about laughing in the dark. She had some tragedy that happened in her life, and this particular movie chronicles that, and uh, then shows how she's back on stage making people laugh, laugh their tails off too. She is one funny human being. But uh, that movie is going to be uh, all across the land tomorrow October 27th uh, at a um, at a theater probably near you so if you get a chance want to see something a really sweet story but also very funny as well you might want to check that out so but anyway here in Nashville there's going to be the you know Shonda is going to be at this particular you know premiere and everything so it's kind of like I needed to to be there with my wife tomorrow night so Anyway, I apologize profusely to TobaccoPipes.com, uh, uh, the folks there. We have rescheduled my appearance for Tuesday, December 8th. It's Tuesday, December 8th. And the pipe I think I showed you, maybe I showed you, it was on Instagram. I took it back off because I didn't know what we were going to do with it. But that pipe, it's a little pocket ants. We're going to give that away uh, during that uh, hangout on December 8th. So we'll have more uh, about that. I think they're going to go ahead and do something tomorrow night. They're going to have a surprise guest and some goodies and all kinds of things tomorrow night. I actually wish I could, could, could watch and see what's, uh, what's going on with that live. But, uh, again, I'll be, uh, with Pam at that, uh, movie premiere. Smoking some Blue Ridge, by the way. Mm, good stuff. Um, also wanted to tell you that for 2016, I'm going to have a little uh, some things up my sleeve. So that's a little tease to hang on. It's time to make handmade pipes, handmade pipes, more affordable. 
and I'll be showing you. Stick around for that. Uh, every now and then, I'll run across an invention or a gizmo, gadget, whatever, that it just uh, changes my life, rocks my world. And I ran across something not too long ago, but Jay Dagner had it when he came down and he gave me this little thing because I was so enamored by it. And it's this thing. Now you may look at it and go, what the heck is that? This right here is the best knife blade sharpener I've ever run across. And I mean, I've got, I've got back over my shoulder, right back in there, is uh, a $750 Tormek whetstone sharpening grinder. And it does a great job, but this thing will do it in seconds. It's just amazing to me. I'm gonna put my pipe down here for a second, and uh, and and actually, this this is called. Let me let me get my uh, cheaters on here, and uh, make sure I tell you right. This is called the Handy Sharp, and it's got a little thing here where you can put on your keychain. As a matter of fact, I got another one that I keep on my keychain. I keep this other one around the shop, but you can put it on your on your keychain. And you know, I'll show you the way it works. Here's uh, Here's a uh, knife. Hello. This is my uh, Smith & Wesson HRT. And I've already sharpened it. I mean, it is just, I have to be careful touching it because it is, it is so sharp that it's incredible. And all you do is take it, about a 45 degree angle to the blade, and just do this. Can you see, can you see what I'm doing? Just do that. And this carbide steel, which is harder than anything, is putting an edge on that that is just incredible. Then you kind of come back a couple of about a 90 degree wipes. And you know how hard it is to take a knife and cut through paper. Make sure it's one sheet, yeah. Cut through paper. Well, I will tell you that this, this stuff right here, I mean, look at it. It just absolutely will just, if I hold it right, it just cuts through that paper. I mean, there it goes. I mean, that is incredible. And I have, I have done every blade I can get my hands on. And here, matter of fact, I have these utility scissors. I love these things right here. These, uh, these scissors right here, my my dad. This is this is uh, these are Bell System scissors from the telephone company that were my dad's. And uh, you know, it's like cable splicers used to have them. You have the little notches there for, you know, rip, you know, peeling back the cable, whatever. He worked for the telephone company until he passed away at the age of 43. But I I sharpened these things, and these are like utility. These are, you know, meant for cutting wire and anything. But I, you know, I want you to watch how it cuts the paper. It just, I mean, just barely, look at that. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. And this, um, this thing, well, let's get it up here in the camera so you can see it. You just do it like this. That is it. If, if they are extremely dull, then you might want to put a little more pressure on it at first. But otherwise, if you're just doing a tune up, you're just uh, going across it like that at a 45 degree angle and if they have the serrated edges like like this one does right here you simply do the same kind of thing to it just go along there like that if you want to take it down into the edges you can do that just like that but basically 45 degree angle and that is so flipping sharp I can't I just can't describe to you. And so Jay, thank you for showing me that. They also make, which I ordered also, this thing called the Sharpen Spark. Now it's got, it's got that same thing here. It's also got the V-groove right there where you can run stuff through. 
But also on it, which is really cool, it has flint there that you can take that and you can, if I get it right, <laughs> you can't see it. Spark, there it goes. See it? See it sparking? There it goes. Okay. I don't want to catch anything on fire here in the shop. But you can you can take that with you camping and uh, take some stuff like, take, take some hand sanitizer, which is alcohol. Take some of that and use that and some twigs and stuff and like light your uh, campfire with it plus keep everything sharp with it too it's anyway it, it, it's uh it's a handy sharp i think it's what it's called but here is the information right here you might want to grab you know a screen grab of that i think you think you can see all that right there there's the information sharpens best and uh this guy has youtube videos that you ought to check out it shows you how he does all the stuff. And uh, I, I, this is not a paid endorsement at all. I was just so blown away by how well it worked that I thought, you know, I got to share it with my buddies out there. And and uh, I don't know if Jay had ever done that, Jay Dagner had ever shared it on one of his YouTubes or not, but it's great. You can do uh, hedge clippers with it. Uh, I don't know that you could do lawnmower blades. That might be a little bit tough to do. But anything really less than that, you know, you could do. You can put an edge on and put it on there quickly. And then keep it maintained. Oh, there's another thing that I do. I use, of course, blades here on my my uh, lathe, my wood lathe, I'm still a wood lathe guy, although I have the big metal lathe that I use for making my stems, I still use the wood lathe back here on the stumbles. So I take my little sharpener and I hit about a 45 on there. Buddy, that is so sharp. That is incredible. And I used to, whenever these things felt like they were getting dull, take them over there to the Tormac and, you know, poured the water in and did all that stuff. And, and, did, and, and you know, occasionally I will still do that for a real big maintenance kind of item. But I do it on all the, all the chisels that I use on my lathe. This. Incredible. Check them out. See what you think. Uh, thanks once again. Apologies to tobaccopipes.com. Ben and Renaya there. I'm so sorry that I screwed that up, but uh, we'll get it together on December 8th um, for that Google Hangout there. Uh, again, stay tuned. Some new things for 2016 making handmade pipes more affordable. All right. God bless you all. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.